Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is we're going to draw foreground, middle ground, and background for Thanksgiving. So I take three fingers at the top on the left hand side, underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line to the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line to the right. Come back to the left, let's draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Come right here in the middle and we're going to draw a square, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come on the right side and draw me one, two slightly curved lines on the right, jump over, one, two slightly curved lines on the left. Come right about here and I'm going to draw a curved line down, around, up, connect. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a curved line around, up, connect. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line, straight line down off the page. Come right up here underneath and we're going to draw a straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up on the left. Come back underneath, straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. Right at the top we're going to draw one, two dots. Okay. Now take two fingers, put a dot. From this dot we're going to draw a circle all the way around. Come on the left hand side we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down off the page. Come up on the right side, slightly curved line, straight line down off the page. Right here on the left we're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. Keep going all the way connect. Right here underneath, straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up on the left, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect on the right. Come right inside and draw one dot, two dots. Okay? Now we're going to take another two fingers, put a dot, from this dot we're going to draw another circle. We're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to draw a curved line, straight line down on the left, curve line, straight line down on the right. Come back up here, right where this connects, and we're just going to draw a curve line down, connect, and then we're going to come next to it and draw a zigzag, 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 connect, and one more, zigzag, 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 connect. Okay? Come on the left hand side and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, zigzag, zigzag, wavy, wavy line up, connect. On the right side, wavy line down, zigzag, zigzag, wavy line up, connect. Right here we're going to put one dot, two dots. Alright, right next to that we're going to put another dot. We're going to draw a circle. On the left side, curve line, straight line off the page, come back up curve line, straight line off the page. Come all the way right here at the center we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag out. Come back down we're going to go zigzag, 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 connect. Come inside and draw a zigzag. 
and at the end draw a zigzag come inside draw one dot two dots come down in the center we're going to draw a straight line down straight line up connect mimic that line and draw it again straight line down straight line up connect right here at this point we're going to draw a baby circle come up on the left and draw a curve line one two three on the left draw me a curve line one two three on the right okay so this is our foreground this is the, the objects closest to us and they are therefore the biggest okay now we're going to do some jumps so watch what I do I start on the left and I draw a curve line up bam it crashes jump over curve line up bam it crashes jump over curve line up bam it crashes jump over curve line and over here on the end is a little teeny curve line come back to the left we're going to draw it again curve line up crashes bring it over jump over curve line down up curve line down up curve line down up little curve line one more time ready we're going to draw a curve line up jump over curve line down jump over curve line up jump over curve line down jump over curve line up okay this is now going to be the background for our middle ground watch what I do I'm gonna draw a straight line down starting on the bottom I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna draw a curve line spiral curve line spiral curve line spiral curve line spiral and then one two three four five little curve lines come over here jump over now you don't want to draw through your drawing so always make sure that you're not drawing through your drawing so I draw my straight line down now I come up curve line spiral curve line spiral work your way up curve line spiral curve line spiral one two three four five little straight lines at the top now I come over straight line down curve line spiral curve line spiral work your way up left right curve line spiral one two three four five one more let's do straight line down curve line spiral 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 one two three four five and one more but this one you're going to jump over you're going to squeeze these little spirals in and at the end just do one two three four five now this is your middle ground now the last part is your background we're going to do curve line curve line keep going curve line curve line curve line curve line connect in the middle curve line curve line curve line keep going keep going jump over curve line connect and one more curve line curve line curve line keep going keep going keep going connect inside we're going to put little dotted lines on the inside of the space on each one put a little dotted line on the inside of each space keep going keep going last one little dotted line keep going inside space keep going keep going good come all the way back over here on the left draw a big curved line put one dot two dots and a bunch of little straight lines going all the way around okay I think that's all so this is your foreground 
your mid ground, your middle ground, and the clouds in this is, are the backgrounds. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is a lot of drawing, so you might want to do your drawing first on one session and then do your coloring. All right, I'm also going to show you colors. If you don't have them, you can substitute. If you have face colors, I'm going to do this section of the first two pilgrims. I'm going to do them peach or pink. And then I'm going to do my Native Americans brown. Okay? If you don't have these colors, you can use different colors. On my Native Americans, this is part of their skin, and this is part of their skin. Okay? So that's peach and brown. Next, I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to color this black and a little in there, uh, little square inside the hat buckle, and this is all black. And then on my Pilgrim Lady, this is all black. This is all you have to color. Okay, they're pretty easy. Now, if you don't have black, you can use gray, but they're pretty much a black color. Okay, next, on my Native Americans, they're wearing buckskin, so this is all going to be brown. But I wanted to give each one of them a little bit of color. So even though this is all brown, I went ahead and I gave my Native American lady a turquoise blue-green band and a blue-green disc on my Native American man. And then I gave him a red stripe. And then she's got black braids, so I gave her some black. And on him, his the tip of his um, feather is black, and down at the base is black too. Middle section will leave white. Okay? Then, if you've got light green, I just draw next to this is my corn. I'm just going to draw right next to my black spirals and my little straight lines at the top. And just go ahead and put a little bit of color on all my corns. This is my midground. So my Native Americans and pilgrims are in the foreground. My midground is my corn. Okay. Next. I take my yellow and I color for my background. This is my son. So I'm coloring him. But now I'm ready to do these bands of color. Jump over. So the first one I made yellow. Jump over. And it goes all the way across. Got to be careful not to color through your drawings. Okay? So this is why this might take more than one session. You want to take your time. So the top one I did yellow. My middle band I did orange. So this kind of looks like everybody's standing in front of these bands of color. And the last one I did purple. Now you can change these colors also. Just make sure that you jump over and maintain the band color, same band color as you go. Okay? Alright. Then, like I always do, the last thing I did was I got my blue and I just did straight lines. And this you have to be kind of careful also. Don't draw through your drawing. So draw your straight lines just to fill in your backgrounds all the way across. Okay? That adds another element, another design element to your drawing. And again, you might want to do one session of coloring in your 
foreground, one session coloring your midground, and your last session coloring your background. Because it is a lot. It's complicated, but it looks fabulous when it's done. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Thanksgiving composition, all colored in, foreground, middle ground, background. And I had some ki uh, kids say, oh, Patty, you go too fast. Boys and girls who are listening, teachers too, use the stop button. Do a step, stop the video, draw. Do a step, stop the video, draw. Then you can get through it. It's also smart to watch the whole video through once so you know where I'm going. Okay, bye-bye.